right. I told him I gotta give him a shout out, so. Hold on. <laughs> so we had some of the guys come out and watch the end of our practice and forgive me if I messed their name up but Colin In Ingle Inglefield Matt Williams Henry Arundel James Stokes and Ben Loader Louder they was out there we traded balls <laughs> we traded a ball I told him I was going to give him one back so I got on the mall so so I'll give him a shout out when I got up here. So. Quinn, we actually talked to one of the, the guys after practice. They were talking. We were like, "All right, could you play American football?" And they were like, "I don't know." Like, especially with the helmets and the pads. Man. So I'll, I'll pose it to you. Do you think you could be on the rugby side? No, absolutely <laughs> not. I said we was talking about it during our practice. So we seen them watching. We was like, they probably think that they could probably come over and play. I was like, they probably could. Yeah. But it's just a little different. They just got to wear stuff, okay. opposed not to wearing it, but. I guarantee they can probably come play. Yeah, they got the body type for sure. Like they could handle the toughness. Like, one of them said, I ain't gonna say which name, but he said, you know, show him, his, show him his tape, show coach his clips. So I'm, t I'm gonna show it to him. So what are you gonna do with the ball when you get back to the U.S.? Hang it up, just, just like that. <laughs> Hang it up around my, around my counter. <laughs> hey, Quiz, I talked to James yesterday. He, he told me, like, asked you what did he tell you before the touchdown catch. <laughs> Um, when we was coming on the field, he said, "He said you ready to score a touchdown?" Or he said, "You ready to score?" And I was like, Duh! <laughs> and then we called the play and went out there and scored, just like that. What did you kind of say in the film room when they watched that play again? Not your kid. Oh, so we didn't watch it together. We watched it as a receiver okay. room, and you know, just a way to make a play. You know, just gotta make it happen, wherever, whatever it takes. Yeah, Jameis was adamant that like those plays are luck plays. Like, there's a lot of like because he has confidence in your guys' works and your guys' ability. And so I, I'm sure you look at it the same way. Those, those aren't luck plays. Those are you know right. taking advantage of opportunity. Yeah. Right. He he we, he knows where we're supposed to be at. We know where we're supposed to be at. Whether we get there late, get there early, he's expecting us to be there. And if he has trust to, some people see it as he you know blindly threw it up, but. Like you said, it's not luck plays. We know what we're doing. He knows, he trusts us to be there, and we just make it happen. If Jameis can't play Sunday, how confident are you in, in Andy running the offense? Andy's been in the league longer than probably anybody on the team, so no, no one's worried about Andy. Andy knows what to do. He's a veteran. He knows what's at stake. He knows how to make it work, and we're gonna go out there and make it happen. I guess when we get up to you on Tuesday, I know a lot of the players have a bit more time off to explore this issue. I went to the soccer game, the um, England and um, Germany soccer game. That was by far the best experience I've ever had. Because <laughs> uh, I've always wanted to go to a soccer game, especially overseas. So, And it being an international team, it, it was um, – when I got there, I called my best friend and showed him. And he was like, you got to bring me a jersey home. And I was like, I can't, bro. You want Germany, though. I can't, I can't bring home a Germany <laughs> team, though. So, but, no, that was definitely – a great experience, and I definitely will be back. And I know it's a world trip, but do you get kind of a London vibe, and you get to enjoy the week a little bit, just being in a different setting? Yeah, we did. We went and got food. Um, I couldn't tell you what, where it was. Um, was it nice though? It was nice. It was tacos. We ate some tacos. Very British. <laughs> we ate some tacos. But no, nah, we supposed to go somewhere today and get some food, so that's pretty much why I want to come out here. Come out here and eat. Cool. And you look excited to start the show for all the fans, you know, because all the fans for all the different teams are going to be coming to the game, but I guess it's a chance to you know, show why they should get excited about the team. Right. Uh, I know. I'm excited. I know the team's excited, uh, especially we're going out there to play, um, playing in a different setting, and hopefully it ain't gonna be cold. First of all, it's cold out here. It is very cold yeah, out here. Yeah. Get that <laughs> it is very cold out here, so it's gonna be a little change from New Orleans, but. Yeah, we're definitely excited to go out there and play. You know, different crowd, but I guarantee you, watching the soccer game, I bet, I know they're going to bring the energy. So. And, and just finally on that, you said you always wanted to go to a soccer game. You're going to be playing out one of the biggest stadiums mm -hmm. in England for football, mm -hmm. soccer, whatever you like. How excited to be that? Uh, excited. I know I play I play at the stadium on FIFA a lot, so it's going to be a little different. You know, when I go back home, I'm going to tell the guys, you know, you know, just something slight, you know, something I played That's at. Right. right. <laughs> Thank you.
Quez, knowing um, the football comes out of every quarterback's hand differently, what, how does it come out of Jameis's hand versus Andy's, and how does the receiver adjust to that? Um, so like I said, everything is different. Um, it's, at the end of the day, it's still, you know, throw and catch. We work with both. We work with all the quarterbacks, so it's not going to be too much different. Uh, only thing about Andy, he doesn't throw it as hard as Jameis, so that's going to be a little bit of help. And it's cold, so it's going to be a lot more helpful on our hands. But like I said, we work with both, so it's not going to be too much of a difference. So he doesn't throw it as hard, so how do you adjust your, I guess, ball control to receive that? Depending on what route it is, how close we are, because um, when he wants to throw it hard, he could throw it hard. But compared to Jameis, he doesn't throw it as hard as he does. So it'll be a little more easier, a little more, um, we could see it coming a little quicker, a little um, steadier. So I think that would be a, uh, that would be the biggest change. What about just as far as how Andy handles the, the huddle? How is he as far as commanding the huddle? Like I said, he's a veteran. He knows what he's talking about. He knows what he's doing. So Andy is somebody that, especially at the quarterback position, that if he says it, he calls it, then no question, just go out there and run it. Because at the end of the day, like I said, he's been in the system. He knows a thing or two. So whatever he's going with, we're going. That's same with Jameis, though. You know, they both, they're both they both vets. They both played a lot of football. So it's whatever they say we're going to do, no questions asked. One more, guys. You say you're playing FIFA. Do you have a team? Ah, man, so, <laughs> oh, so, Great at first, it was PSG, okay? And then when Messi got on PSG, everybody goes to PSG. So I stopped playing with PSG, start playing with Bayer, and then Lewandowski left. So now I got to find another team. So I got a Tottenham jersey in the bag. So look, <laughs> I'm already transferring. So, <laughs> I'm already transferring. I need, I need another team now. I need another team. So. You're aware that there's a I know, I can't go. I already looked into it. There's going to be a lot of standing and a lot of movement. We need that time to get on, get off our feet. But best believe I'll be watching it. Thank you, Chris. Tell them I want to beat them, too. <laughs> Thank you, bro.